nervous. Don't be nervous. She's gonna love you. I'm still nervous. Oh my God, I cannot believe you grew up here. What? No helicopter pad? Oh no, there's one out back. Kevin. Oh, oh my God, Mom, you look fantastic. I want to introduce you to someone. Mom, I'm Charlie. Very nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Please sit down. This is really exciting. You're going to be my mother-in-law. I know. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? I need something stronger than this. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. <laughs> are old enough now I'm not gonna pull any punches here your father has run off with his little Swedish secretary and moved back to Sweden are you okay I'm a wreck he doesn't live here anymore Denny he doesn't exist what do you mean he doesn't exist guess what you're a baseball star talk baseball I don't want to talk baseball you used to be my idol now I think you Boom. well I think he just hung up on our last listener. Where's mom? Upstairs, taking a shower. You want me to dry your back? What are you doing? I didn't see much. Have you ever heard of boundaries? Your girl invited me for dinner. I think you know my position on free food. <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing. Just, just all uh, very female. Well, what can I say? I have four girls. One that hates me, two or three that are leaning that way. You mm -hmm. look. Perfect. And your face is big and plump. Oh, I could just eat you. My up. face is plump? Oh, God. No. I didn't mean plump is in plump. You still looking for work? You're amazing. Tell that to your mom or even. I got the job. What job? With Denny as a production assistant. Oh, God. My Lord. I know that on some level this is way too soon and not right. What's the other level? I dial your number 10 times a day and hang up. You should marry her, Denny. I don't know. Your mom, she's... she's tricky. Come on, Bill. When I'm with you, Terry, with your girls, I feel like there's a big chunk of my life still left to be played out.
I'm offering you Mr. Chatterbox. You'll be getting expenses, go to all the parties and race meetings and balls you'll be going to anyway. They knew all the right people. Social, please. Science. Went to all the right parties. Oh, no! Did all the wrong things. And people couldn't get enough. We sold 100,000 extra copies this morning. But no matter how shocking, how fabulous, or how fun, no party can last forever. Well, that happened, didn't it? In the directorial debut of Stephen Fry, based on the novel Vile Bodies by Evelyn Waugh. Half the people in the papers one's never heard of anyway. Why not invent some new ones? I say, that might be rather something. Hold the presses. What a scream. So you're the young fool who's going to marry my daughter. We rather hoped that you might help us. Would a thousand pounds be any help? What would you all do if you had a thousand pounds? Put it on a horse. Why not? Sound invented. Well, that was silly. So many little people. What can they all do with their lives? Oh. How boring. <laughs> Look here, have a drink, won't you? Ah, that's a thing I never refuse. Beautiful young people, that's what they call you. Well, one out of three ain't bad, I guess. I say, that's rather good. Are you a butterfly or a bee? Excuse me? You want to flit around looking pretty, doing nothing, or you want to make honey? Come about the vacuum cleaner, have you? No, I want to marry your daughter. Well, why didn't you say so before? So we're going on about vacuum cleaners. Well, no! Oh, why doesn't somebody say something? Sex. Oh, darling, am I going to be seduced? I'm afraid you are. Celebrity. Scandal. He's been writing things about my son, Miles, which are beastly. Imagine. Gossip. We've just heard. Who did? Who too? Too, too shaming. Might be worth sending a few photographers over. Some things never change. Right Young Things. That was the title, right? Tearing the lid off the young island rich? Can't get enough of that kind of thing. Vera's like, she finds a young fella, lives on his own, no family. Walks him in with us, gives him his tea. She's got heart of gold, that woman. You're a lucky man. I reckon Lucy would make a good husband for some nice girl. Good morning, Mrs. Drake. Good morning, Mrs. Fowler. Right then, dear. First thing you've got to do is put the kettle on. How'd that go the other week? Same as usual. Nervous little thing, wasn't she? I put her right. Set her mind at rest. You always do, don't you? We need to talk to Mrs. Vera Drake. What's all this about? I know why you're here. Why are we here? Because of what I do. What is it that you do, Mrs. Drake? I help young girls out. You help young girls out. Who else they're gonna turn to? They got no one I help them out. I go home now, please. No, Mrs. Drake, I'm afraid not. How could she do that? I oh, know you think she's done a bad thing. We can't let her down. You're asking me to forgive her? Yes. You do realise this is a criminal matter? No, dear. It's what you call it. <laughs> 